hello and welcome to another video i've got a ford fiesta it's a 2016 uh, 1.5 uh, it's a diesel one and the complaint is that uh the the, the mileage is not showing uh or together with the temperature so this is a digital uh, screen um and it is it is not showing so what I want to confirm, I'll turn the ignition key on. As the ignition key on, there is no confirmation of mileage right in the middle there of um, of these clocks. There is nothing above the the fuel gauge there. There is nothing. Okay, so. It is an intermittent problem. Um, it comes on and off, on and off. Um, when you're driving it at night, so it will be flashing, you know, on, off, on, off, and that light can be disturbing sometimes. So what we want to do is to investigate and see what could be the cause. So I'm going to go through the process. Uh, I'll show something here. Just before I start the process of removal, um, I'll show you something here. If I press that that dashboard, sorry, if I press the clocks, you'll see that the lights will come on and the mileage will start to show on the temperature. So I've confirmed the complaint and now let me show you something here. I just want you to watch, keep watching. Um, just keep watching. I think you saw that. Keep watching. I'll push. Try something else. Let me go this way. And. And do it that way. again you can see the blue screen that is trying to show there right I'll try again here and see Get it to play. There you go. Got it. Yep, I got it. Uh, so you can see the temperature is 14 degrees. There is the mileage. Okay. And um, so that this is the problem. Um, this will not pass MOT. So everything else works. Okay, everything else works except for that screen there. As you can see that some of the digits are not complete on that LCD. Um, so this is what I want to investigate and see. Is it a loose connection? Is it a, is it a ground issue? Or uh, like you can, you can see that as I was talking to you, it has changed. Uh, it's trying to bring something up there again. So there it goes. Okay. It's good that I caught it straight away on camera. Um, it just came off, went away again. All right. 
So this is the problem that we have. So what I'm going to do, um, I am going to uh, plug a diagnostic machine and then, you know, see if I can get a fault and then take it from there. So I've got the ignition key on, diagnostic machine uh, connected. So we want to click on system search. So I just want um, to search every ECU and see if we're going to come up with any codes. Just to give us a clue maybe as to what is going on. So it is going through the search. This might take a little bit of time uh, because it's, go it's going to scan everything. Every other ECU. As you can see, we have zero issues. No issues at all. See, while this we are, yes, the ECU is searching. It just came on, so everything is working fine at the moment. So this this is the issue that we have. That's why I said it's intermittent. Comes on, comes off, and this time I didn't even push this the screen, but it just popped up. So. The search is still going on here, and we found zero errors so far. Search is complete. There are no errors at all, so which means we do not have trouble codes. This is when it becomes interesting now so um, let me see um, yep yeah. scroll scroll it scroll again see right at the top nothing okay you can see the display operating unit um, there is nothing totally nothing so what we want to do now is uh, maybe come up to uh, I just want to maybe remove the clocks and then um, try and see if maybe there is a loose connection at the back. Um, and do a few tests. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for a wiring diagram at the moment. I've searched and searched for a wiring diagram. Couldn't get one. So let me see if I can go through the process of um, removing the clocks. I think what we need to do is to pull that part here and then when we take take it off uh, it will expose the, the two screws that are holding the clocks but also uh, we need to turn this steering wheel as you can see that uh, torque screw that's 20 20 <laughs> And we should turn it on the other side again.
there's another one. So if we remove these two, we can pop that top cover off. It can come out and then we'll have the screen, uh, sorry, the, the clocks exposed. So we should be able to take out the two screws. So that's what I'm going to do now. So as you can see now, we have this that screw there and that one there. Um, these are the ones that are holding the clocks. So I'm going to take those two off.